Shake. It seems to me like, I mean, the sky's the limit. Taylor. As Christians, we have an, a unique worldview that uh, those outside of the faith don't necessarily have. And uh, because of that, I mean, our, our views and our, our commentary on, on, on anything in our world um, can have merit. And so it seems to me like uh, if Jesus came to redeem all all of the man instead of just you know this little spiritual section then uh, that means that that we should uh, be be exploring and, and commenting on on all areas of life instead of just what some would classify as just the spiritual areas accountability well I mean I, su- I suppose people when they hold someone in esteem they expect a lot of them uh, and uh, People whose records that they buy are, 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 especially if they're if they're going out on a limb and taking stands on things, uh, they probably expect more from them. But I don't see that as necessarily wrong. I mean, if uh, if we've got the nerve of uh, getting in a microphone and, and and singing songs about the Lord and about our relationship with the Lord. We've got to be willing to uh, be absolutely committed to him. Otherwise, we should, you know, what's the purpose in doing it? Just then go sing whatever, go sing something, go sing about something else. You know, don't don't identify yourself as a Christian. I guess um, I, I've always felt that the that the, that the added uh, pressure, if you want to call it that, or uh, uh, demands of an audience was probably a good thing. And uh, and it's just like that. I mean, the Bible teaches that that if we uh, want to be teachers, we've we've got to be willing to uh, have a, a harsher judgment. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I, I suppose it, it means that if uh, we are going to, uh, in essence, get on stage and uh, 
and sing songs about our, our Christian faith and have people looking up to us and you know uh, looking to us as examples um, that that uh, when we stumble it, it it could potentially lead a lot more people astray and so there there is an added responsibility and you can't get around it musical style when I was uh, growing up I, I uh, had a friend who was still living uh, and he was in his 70s he's, he's well into his 80s now and uh, he used to tell me stories about uh, how back in like uh, the 20s uh, he was a ragtime piano player he used to play for silent movies and uh, he would start sneaking in ragtime and when he was accompanying the church services and playing hymns and things like that and uh, and people were as shocked then as as they some of them are today about uh, the use of rock music just because this was you know the music the popular music of the culture and then it might the idea of ragtime being played in the church you know um, and uh, and he would relate you know his his struggles at trying to get people to to accept that that style of music as not being of the devil and um, he uh, to told about how he would go into like uh, military bases and things like that and uh, advertise a ragtime concert and, and start playing ragtime and then he slowly start working it into where he's playing hymns and uh, how by the by the end of the concert he had everyone's attention because uh, the music had kind of been the drawing card um, and the funny thing is <laughs> 50 years later he was having the same problems with rock music and, and in fact the only thing that finally turned him around was because I guess he knew me well enough, and and he knew from from seeing me grow up, he knew why I was involved in it, and uh, could see that there was some good coming out of it. And, and uh, um, I think kind of the turning point for him is uh, uh, I, I I came up to uh, speak to a group of uh, juvenile delinquents that uh, were incarcerated in this uh, California prison for for uh, guys under 18 and, and came and, and talked to them and uh, told them, you know, what I do and, and about the Lord and things. And, uh, and that kind of was the thing that clicked into his mind because he realized the same thing was happening uh, now that it had been happening, you know, with him 50 years ago where the music was the drawing card and it got people to uh, to listen to what you had to say for some reason and gave you more credibility or whatever. And uh, I guess the light finally turned on in his mind. He realized rock music maybe could be used for for good for the for the Lord's purposes Nothing is colder than the winds of change Where the chill numbs the dreamer till the shadow remains Among the ruins lies your tortured soul Was it lost there or did you will surrender control Shivering with doubts that were left unattended So you toss away the cloak that you should have mended Don't you know by now why the chosen a few It's harder to believe than not to Harder to believe than not to oh, oh, oh. It was a confidence that got you by When you knew you believed it but you didn't no one imagines it'll come to this But it gets so hard when people don't want to listen Shivering with doubts that were left unattended So you toss away the cloak that you should have mended Don't you know by now why the chosen a few It's harder to believe than not to Of approval or the truth that you want 
And if they call it a crutch, then you walk with pride. Your accusers have always been afraid to go outside. They shiver with doubts that were left unattended. Then they toss away the cloak that they should have mended. You know by now why the chosen a few. It's harder to believe than not to. still have a hard time looking at this as a career uh for me i'd be afraid that i'd start making decisions based on being a recording artist and setting up goals that possibly didn't allow the, the holy spirit to to guide and direct in the midst of everything hey, what's up? 